This demo will be especially useful for production editors or for editorial assistants whose job it is to compile a whole bunch of reviewers' markup into one PDF. You can, of course, select markup and copy it over into any file, but this is a super fast and easy way. The tools we need are found right in Acrobat Reader, which is open here on screen, and it's under the comment area. As you can see, this is uh, the master document. It has no comments. This is what we sent out for review. And what we're going to do is click on those little dots there and click Import Data File. Here I have my reviews from Reviewer 1 and 2. I'm going to select one, click Select, and there they are. Now I can do the same thing with a number of files, um, but for say I don't want the reviewer's name to be revealed, I'm going to show you two ways of doing that. Uh, first, let's, yeah, let's do this first. We're going to select all of these comments, so hold Shift. There we go. Now I can right click on that list or control click if you're on a Mac. Select properties and on the general tab, I can change the name of this person to reviewer one. Changes all the markup altogether. Now, rather than doing it this way, the other way of changing the name is to open the source file first and change the name there. So here I have reviewer 2's file open. You can see that their markup is different. I'm going to open the comments panel. It's going to take a minute and think about it. Here we see Dr. Loop has left a whole bunch of comments. I will click on the top one, hold shift while I click on the bottom one and then right click and select properties. We'll open the dialog box where I can again go into the general tab and change Dr. Loop's name to reviewer two. Or it could be the copy editor or the safety reviewer or whoever it is. For your author, it's most likely going to make more sense if changes are tagged, not by the person's name, but by their role in the team. So I have to remember to save this. Now I'm going back to my master document. I will again go up to the little uh, three dots here at the top of the comment pane and click Import Data File. And this time I will click Reviewer 2. Select, and now we see Reviewer 2 and Reviewer Run. All of their comments are there. And we can see that where they overlap, for instance, this area on the headlines, there's underlines and circles. All of the markup appears where it overlaps. Then you could go through and vet that by removing things, etc., etc. But there's your quick and dirty way to import. For more tips on using Adobe Acrobat, especially this free reader program for markup of page proofs and other production flow, see the other tips on this blog.